Hello, this is Dr. Dennis Burke, and today I want to talk to you about the law of vibration. You know, there are many, many universal laws, and it just happens that the law of vibration is one of them. Now, everything around us in the world vibrates. It's just the way things are. If you go in a park or you go in a forest, you'll see that uh, the trees are growing, the plants are growing, uh, insects and animals are in motion in the forest. When you go to uh, a river or a stream, you see the river and the stream or stream are moving. If you go to the beach uh, or you go to the ocean, you'll see uh, the beach, the sand is moving and the ocean is moving. If you look up at the sky, you'll see that the birds are moving. Uh, you'll see furthermore that the clouds are moving. We have sun, sun up and we have sun down. So all of this proves that we are a sea in motion. Now, as importantly as all that might sound in our physiological world, how about the human beings? See, human beings are compositely made up of energy. We attract energy from the aether and we bring it to us and through us. And our mind vibrates. And our research has shown uh, about 30, 40 years ago that our mind has four levels of vibration. When we are awake in our, uh, in our current state, uh, we uh, are in beta. And beta at the vibration state of mind is between 20 and 21 beats per second. When we uh, go to the next level down, that's uh, alpha. And alpha uh, beats at the rate of uh, 10, 11 beats per second. The next level is theta. And it beats between 5 and 6 beats per second. Now when you go into a sleep mode, which is your delta mode, that's a half a beat per second. Now as your mind beats at whichever level of vibration, it causes your uh, physiology to shift and the vibrations of energy in your body it result in certain patterns of uh, outcome or manifestation. So for example, if you are uh, very happy and you're enthusiastic and excited, the vibrations of your mind will trigger that shift in your physiology, in other words, in your body, that causes you to have behavior that demonstrates or manifests itself uh, to become a person that demonstrates happiness and excitement and enthusiasm. And then other people that surround you feel that vibration of energy and feel the vibration of thought that you have. And then they respond to you as in that they too become excited and energized. It's just the way that it works in our world. Now, our body is a molecular structure that's made up of millions and millions and millions of molecules, but that they function at a vastly high rate of speed. And the point is, is that you have to be very cognizant and careful of what you think about because what you think about, either negatively or positively, will cause your physiology to shift and give you whatever outcome it is in your day-to-day -day experience. So for example, if you are a salesperson and you want to sell more product, you have to have an upbeat approach, an excited approach about your product or your service. And uh, when your mind thought vibration is in alignment and harmony with positive thoughts to do with your selling experience, you're guaranteed virtually to have an energy level transmitted to others that will attract other people into your sphere of immediate circle. And then therefore, that influence will cause them to purchase in more cases than not. The flip side of that, however, is that if you are feeling somehow down or negative or your thinking is negative in relation to what it is that you can't do or why you can't do it or why you can't go here or whatever it is that you can't do, your physiology will always be altered and then your activities will result in a negative way. So your posture will likely be slumped. Your your face might be drooping. You definitely will not have a smile on your face. And this is Dr. Dennis Burke speaking to you today on this topic of the law of vibration. This is your moment of wisdom.